Hey, bud. Hi. How you doing? Good. This is one of our last nights in this apartment together. The last time that we really did a Greg's Future, I yelled at you a lot. I felt bad about it. I've realized a few things. What have you realized? That I'm just talking to myself. Right, you've said that before. But it really hit home. And that I'd become a monster. <laughs> and I just want to love you. Hmm. And I felt like it had become... I wasn't, I wasn't being loved. Hmm. I think I, I'll miss you. Yeah. I was thinking today of some good memories of you and me. Here? No. In life? Yeah. One was when you came to see one of my shows and I asked you, did you like it? And you said, yeah, I liked it. And I, and I knew you really liked it. Huh. That made me happy. I guess I was probably 22 or something, and you were 12 or whatever you were. Okay, all right. And you owed me $9, and you called me into your room, and you, <laughs> I think, had crumpled them all up and threw it in the air and yeah. ran out of the room, and um, it was so humiliating for me to have to bend down and pick up every um, dollar, but I needed the money so bad. And I thought, how s that you are a real genius. And that's another thing I think I learned that you're smarter than I was. No, I mean, I know you're smart, but even within the whole Greg's future thing, I wasn't giving you enough credit that you're smart and could handle things. Right. I also have no idea what I'm doing, though. The main thing is that I love you. Well, this is another thing. I think that maybe any sort of pushing or pulling, you can never get it done. You just have to embrace. Right. Um, you just have to hug that thing. What do you mean? Like if I'm pushing you to get a job or I'm pulling you, like if I'm... All right. It, all I can do is just love you and nurture you. Right. And maybe that's all we can do with each other is love right. and nurture each other. Right. Maybe I had a little bit of tough love that was good, but at a certain point it was not good. Mm. And I apologize for that. No, I don't... And I've, put these videos out and people do like them and watch them and I felt that I've um, appropriated this or I've you know I've used you for my own personal gain that story is perfect the money I'm so proud of myself <laughs> I know there's no one smarter than that I think no, no. But no one who understands the world more than that <laughs> throwing nine dollars nine crumpled dollars yeah. I'll let see that. I'll always be that scrounging around for <laughs> crumpled money while right. the, the real thing is running out the door having fun. <laughs> You're gonna move to Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. Yeah. What are you looking forward to in the next few months? Um, I mean, being on my own. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'll do more. Yeah. Um, because like it kind of feels like living with, I mean, not my parents, parents but yeah. like you know. Guardians. Yeah, I know. Summer. Working in Brooklyn with Mac. Mac and cheese all summer. The summer, anything could happen in the summer. That's what they say. Well, I will miss you. Yeah. I just love you. I love you too. I Thank love you. you so much. I appreciate your tough love. Well, mm. Although not at the time. Maybe our, our children will watch this. If YouTube exists in the future. Mm. I'll always be there for you. Well, thank you. Even if I die. Hmm. The memory of me will this. continue. You're yelling. You can just watch this. Use your fucking brain. And if I die, Greg, I love you. What if you die? I don't even know. <laughs> Do you love me if you die? I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a hug? No. Come on. Tell me a story that you remember about me. He used to take me in the paper route. <laughs> Tell one of the paper route I stories. Um, I remember you had the, the Geo Prism, right? Mm -hmm. It was like a periwinkle. Uh -huh. well, I must have been like 12 again. Yeah. This was the peak of my genius. <laughs> well, we just had so much time together. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to do but deliver papers. Yeah. You would drive me into every stop. 
And I would get out and go put the paper in and get back in. And eventually I realized it would be a hoot to lock the door as I left, close it, deliver the paper, <laughs> come back, and I'd surprise him. Why'd you lock my out? <laughs> it took you like a few stops to catch up, I think. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe right over. Oh, it's the mind of a madman. <sighs> You sleep? No. I gotta go do some work. What are you gonna do? Watch Game of Thrones. Any last words to the Greg's future folks? No. We'll see what happens. We will. We will. Live your dreams. <laughs> oh, God. Do you think this has helped me? No. <laughs> no. No, I, I can't imagine how it could have. <laughs> the, the, the final result is Brooke working at a mac and cheese place all <laughs> time. Living in Bay Ridge. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should have just been hugging you the whole time. Right. I do. I think it helped me, though. Yeah? Because I know you don't believe any of what I say. But I do have, like, plans and, like, steps. And I've said that I had to get an apartment first. Yeah. And now I quit Dean and DeLuca to have more time, because I can, like, work at work. Yeah. So I have time to do that. I have a day off. And great. I'm going to go try to get some job. I think that's job. great. I do. I mean, you lived here. You've got your roots in New York. Right. You've got connections. You're going to have your own place. The first place in New York is always an exciting thing. Right. <laughs>